Now, at the same time, uh, Secretary of State Pompeo, uh, taking the lead as he should in something like this, has doubled the number of diplomats in the liberated parts of Syria. Uh, Brett McGurk has been uh, magnificent at orchestrating the international coalition, including the funding for the emergency services, and that is, continues to go on. Now, will that in itself, by getting the locals uh, empowered to represent their own communities, to defend their own communities against a return of uh, ISIS in itself stop the Iranian influence? No, it will not. But that is where the Geneva process comes in to say, Iran, you have no business in Syria. You've not been helpful there. Your militia that is destabilizing in Lebanon against the government, the Lebanese Hezbollah, uh, and their fighters inside Syria, and ones like that need to get out of Syria if we're going to have peace. Inside Iraq, I think it's a matter of uh, of United States and NATO training mission Iraq, a NATO element that's going to make the Iraqi military something that stands up for Iraq and is not reliant on the, uh, on the goodwill of the, uh, of the Tehran regime. Again, this is not a contest with the Iranian people. Uh, this is a senseless war for the Iranian people to be in Syria or to be trying to make uh, Iraq into a rump state of Tehran. It's not going to work, and it's just wasting a lot of the resources that would help the people in, uh, in Iran if that was not a revolutionary regime, if it was really a, a government that cared about its people.